Now let's talk about some positive news. And I love, you know, reporting on these things because, you know, it's, it's good to sometimes hear some positive things and not just negativity. Because I know on this podcast, we just talk about court cases, somebody getting shot, lawsuits, this and that. Lil Dirk, and I commend Lil Dirk for saying this, and I hope he follows through with these actions. Uh, he decided to go on Instagram and said, don't label me nothing outside of a man, a father, and a 1,000% Muslim. Then he followed that up with his IG story and said, I don't gangbang, I'm Muslim. Basically, what I was saying on my post, in so many ways, you can't do both. I'm going to be the one who says it. So if you follow me as a brother, a friend, an icon, follow me to my new chapter of life. When I make music, I rap what I've seen and been through. Not telling you to go do it. Huge difference. The music won't change but my life goals will. In addition to religion and gangs, Dirk has added other things onto his mind recently, like fatherhood. So round of applause for Dirk saying that. Now, Dirk, I have a proposal. If you ever run into this video, right? I have a proposal. Why not change the messaging in your music? Are you worried that people aren't going to listen to music anymore? Because listen, you did. You technically changed the messaging in your music and you had the biggest success of your career as a lead artist when you did that. And what is that? All my life record. All my life. All my life. Come on, man. That record was number two in the Billboard Hot 100, which was the highest ranking lead song you've ever been a part of. What's your song? So you weren't really a part of it. It's your record featuring J. Cole. And the reason why you had that success, because you changed the style of This is more advertiser-friendly and the, the, the track is fire. Like, it wasn't a corny record. We know you come from the streets. When you talk about your life, you can talk about these things that you've dealt with, but more in a positive way about what you're doing now. What you're, you know, you could talk about the street stuff and then talk about, like, yo, I'm investing. You know, do the Jay-Z, Mogul, Nipsey Hustle talk. You know, do that. You can, you can have that style, and you can, you can make it. Like, I think he could do a really dope job with it. You know, the street stuff is cool. Those records, I do like to hear from Dirk. I don't like the death talk and, like, clowning people about dying. That, you know, but everything else, you know, I, if you're going to go this this path of being more, you know, first off, this is a great message, saying that, hey, I've, I've changed my life. Yeah, the music isn't really going to change, but me as a person, I've changed. So I hope he's being true to that and honest about that. But the music can also change, too. You found your biggest success in a song that has nothing to do with shooting or violence. I think maybe he had a verse here or there. Let me see. What do you say in the, in the song? Because I haven't listened to it in a minute. But Dirk, you know, Cole started out. Dirk, you've been on some positive shit. Yeah. So it's a fire. Um, you know, decided I had to finish. But the media called me a menace. I'm on a side with my mayor and politician trying to change the image. You can't blame my past no more. I came from the trench. So you can still talk about your past and say you had to do certain things. But... You know, I'm just saying, man, you had the most success. You know, let's see. Actually, I wanna, I'm want i actually going to look at his uh, Spotify, Spotify streaming, streaming history. Let's just see. I just want to see where that song ranks in his, like, career so far. All My Life is his sixth biggest song. But it's the second song on the charts that's actually from... Actually, third song. Never mind. So he's had out of the six songs, and they're not really that far apart besides the Drake one, obviously. But that's not his record. That was Drake featuring Lil Durk. So if we're talking about his song, it's Broadway Girls with Morgan Wall. But that's the thing. Here's the thing. That song isn't that much higher in streams. It's at 380 million. Meanwhile, All My Life is at 348 million. And the only reason that probably gets streams because of Morgan Wall. And honestly, Morgan Wallen's like the motherfucker gets streams regardless. But out of the six songs, Laugh Not Cry Later is number one. Back in Blood is number two. Uh, Broadway Girls, number three. Three Headed Goat, number four. Every Chance I Get, which is DJ Khaled record, number five. And then number six is All My Life. So three out of the six songs is his songs as the lead artist. And then the other three are him being featured on a song. So look at that. You have a song that is a top six in your career. But also, let's go to the Billboard charts. Uh, Low Dirk, Billboard chart history you'll see that it is his highest charting lead artist song. So why not? Yeah, Laugh Night Cry Later with Drake featuring Dirk was at number two. 
but that's not his record. It's featuring him. And then All My Life is Lil Durk. Like, his track is our number two. He's never had, look, if you go to the charts, Billboard Hot 100, he's never had a lead, like him being the lead artist, ever hit the top 10 or anything. Never. Broadway Girls with Morgan Wallen reached number 14. Drake in the Bible with Lil Durk, that's not his record. Yeah, he's never had a song that was him as a lead artist hit the top 10. Period. The only time he's had it is when he did All My Life with, with Lil, uh, J. Cole. And that was a positive record. So if that's not, you know, whether you believe in God, which obviously most of he does, um, if that's not a sign, I don't know what is, man. I think you should definitely change the style of the music, mature up a little bit, and put out a more positive message, man. Let the kids hear something that are in Chicago more positive from you, man. Um, I commend it, man. I a round of applause to him. This is what I want to see. I want to see a lot more hip hop artists that have been talking about the street stuff. You know, take a more positive route, man. There's nothing corny about that. I I will I will listen to the music one million times more if you go that route. Um, and I'm sure he can make it. He can transition in a way where it's it's really dope. It doesn't have to be this preachy, messagey stuff. Like he, like he said, he can still talk about the street stuff. But just do it in a more clean cut way, man. Um, don't mention specific names. Uh, you know, and don't get too aggressive on the on the street talk. 